Hello there, I am Muhammad Talks here, and today I just wanted to say, how are you doing? Hello, I hope you are doing well. How's it going? Oh, you just finished eating. You're doing fine, I assume. If you're not, God bless you, and may he help you too, because you know who else needs help? Hungry people. You know what we can do? Try and help. But have we yet? So, I just wanted today to just raise awareness about the poor. And today I will be going through hunger and uh, it being around the world, the causes and how we can stop it, and there's a big way to stop it at the end. So, did you know that every single day a hungry child cries out in the night wondering when his next meal will be? That poor kid can't even get a meal once, and you're being like, ooh, that's some chocolate. Maybe I'll buy it for later. Later. I wanted this. I, I didn't want that. You know that you're lucky that you actually have food, right? So, I, I actually used to kind of be like, I wanted this, but okay. But uh, I, I, <laughs> well, that was when I was a little kid, to be fair. But still, awareness around social media about the poor, not as much as, you know, funny videos and trying not to laugh. And Among Us, that, that, those are the only things that are trending right now. And Fall Guys, and Rocket League's new release. Like, there are so many things trending that there's nothing for poor. Literally nothing. It's like that little little circle space where it's like a, for a family of five to sit in. What about the six? Poor. Hmm? So, uh, just every single day around social media, nobody posts anything about the poor not that I know. So, each and every day, that hungry kid cries out, doesn't know when his next meal will be. But did you know that you could stop that? But I will show you first what are its causes. And by the way, life for him is not free like some rich person or some billionaire on YouTube or something like that. Life for him is a game and you only have one life in that game. Getting money for him is trying to grind 24-7 for a year. And all he gets is two tokens. As in two dollars or two dinars. Or... Man. I mean, it's kind of bad to call them poor. So, people that have poverty issues, the people in need, that's what we'll call them from now on, okay? Nobody say poor anymore. Because that's bad. That's a, basically, it's a bad word. So, for me, the 17th of October is uh, the day of food. But I think we should raise awareness before that day that it should be the day of hunger. Because, you know, it's, it's, people celebrate having food while others struggle to get it. Quite literally. So, uh, did you also know that <laughs> his life is so not free that he can't even choose which way he goes? Because nobody chooses hunger. Now, for some causes. Little or no access at all to clean food or water. Inequality. Food, nutrition and war and conflict, unstable flipping markets. Unstable markets, are you kidding me? Like that's a cause for a person to be poor. And also, you have to pay to get a job and you have to be educated and you have to pay for getting educated to get a job. Some people can't even pay. Okay, they get in free. Is that really good education? Do they really educate that well? Do it for
towards the money boom. Nobody raised any awareness about that, did they? Man, it, it really does bug me that nobody has ever thought of this. Like, what are you doing at home? Enjoying yourself too much? That's what distracts you from the poor? Or your selfishness? Don't you want to feel good? And do something good? Have a good deed? You may never know when you go. Trust me, you may never know. Okay, those were the causes. Basically, food, nutrition is, you know, just... First of all, let me tell you what hunger actually means scientifically. So, hunger means that you don't get enough food for your body, then you start feeling weak. And when you feel weak, you can't do that much things. So, and if food nutrition aren't there, if you like only eat apples, like only fruits, the proteins are not going to be there. If you don't eat, you should drink milk, you're not going to get enough, you know, good bones. That's the food nutrition. Unstable markets is basically markets that are unstable in, you know, work time. Or oh, first of all, let's get into the ways we could stop this. The number one thing is urban farming. You could stop being poor by farming right now. Hungry, I mean, you should stop being hungry. The people that have poverty issues are gonna get hungry. So, that's what this is all about. If not, I, as I said, just create awareness about our own social media about this. Like, hello guys, just da da da, my name is da da da. Uh, today I just found da 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 and I really wanted to say something about it. Da 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 da. Basically, help the poor, etc. Now, the other thing is you need to actually donate some food. Food donations, that's obvious. Social change, as in you need to change people's mindsets about poor socially and IRL in real life. Uh, now, the other thing is good access to education. Like perfect, awesome education. You need to make it free and you need to make it close to people that have poverty issues. We did not say the P word. Uh, okay. Now, another thing is to avoid conflict. That's the easiest way. Uh, so, now, one more thing. Do you know that uh, there's uh, someone, I don't remember, oh actually, it's Mr. Tufiq Siddiqui and Mrs. Lin, the great duo. They're just putting in their mindsets that, wait, the day of food, but do the poor really get to celebrate that day? No, they don't. So, in order to help those people, the people who are, you know, having poverty issues, yeah? So in order to help them, they're raising awareness on social media, they're doing projects to help it, the poor, and I really love that. Uh, they inspired me to do this, so thank you to Tufiq and uh, Lynn, Mr. and Mrs. Tufiq and Lynn. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to help the poor. And uh, all, the only thing I want to say is that they have also created a website. It's called Heart Hunger. Uh, it's a website. It's an, an amazing website where you could just talk to them because they're doing projects right now to help the people that are hungry, just basically hunger around the world. I took a chance and did this project which is raising awareness around social media. So hopefully you help the poor. See ya!